Hello everybody, this is Dreaming about back to conclude the first round of the African Assault Tournament. So we got three more matches to go, so without further ado, let's get started. Ooh, we're in the Alpha Arena. Okay, in the red corner, we got the out. No, no, the regular round of swords. Can it survive? Can it escape the fate that the Alpha Aranosaurus suffered? Or will it suffer the same fate as Alpha Aranosaurus? Well, in theory, he's got an easier matchup because in the blue corner, we got the Sukum Sukumimus, the crocodile mimic itself, the imposter, Suko the imposter. But could be one to watch in this tournament, a deadly addition to the African assault. It's basically a watered-down Spino. Ooh, there's a tie. Another tie. A Rhinosaurus desperate to get that crit off, but it's Sukumimus getting the first hit. And it's a Water Sword. Oh, whoa, whoa, I did loads of damage. Okay, it didn't do... Okay, it did a decent amount. Super Minus's moves are very balanced, so yeah. All of its attacks will pack a various punch. But this is going to hurt. It's an egg attack. Or as I like to call it, intense egg laying session. Oh, wait. Oh, it might be dead. Wait, you need to killed it in one hit? Oh, oh, well, Sukumimus is dead. <laughs> wow, that was really quick. Aranosaurus dispatching Sukumimus it for the lead. But let's not count Suko out yet. He can turn this around as we move on to round two. Right then, round two. Can the Aranosaurus continue to impress or will Sukumimus come back into this? Well, Sukumimus was on top in that match and an egg attack happened. <laughs> Will history repeat itself? Oh, oh, that's a tie. Thankfully for the Suko's sake. Another tie. Oh, Suko Miner's getting a hit there, dodging the egg attack. Ooh, he doesn't want to get egged again. Ooh, he might do better though. He might have just won this round. He's got an aqua javelin up his sleeve as well if he needs it. But he ain't getting it off. And that tie will seal the deal. Super minus leveling things up. Avoided the egg. Avoid. Avoided getting egg on his face. <laughs> That's what I was trying to say. Well, you know what that means. It all comes down to this deciding round. Right then, round three. Can the Aranosaurus land another egg attack? Or can the Super Minus turn this around to win? I think Super Minus has a better chance of winning because his moves are more balanced. Whereas I feel like Aranosaurus is over reliant on getting off egg attack. Ooh, Aranosaurus changing things up, however, going for a dino swim. Saw that the egg attack wasn't working last round, so trying to change it up a bit. I like that. And oh yeah, this Aranosaurus is heroic type, so that dino swing will do will do some damage. Super minus slow landing the next hit. I forgot what type I gave this super. I think it's crisis type. Ty. Ooh, Suko getting a crit. Oh, hang on, it's button pressing time because it's trick. Oh, headbutt. Boosh. 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 Busting the kneecaps there. Oh, oh, wait, what? It killed it? Oh, okay. Well, it is his crit. And, well, sadly for Aranosaurus, it bows out of the tournament. Joining the other grass dinosaur. <laughs> There's no love for the grass munchers, is there? And it's Sukumimus advancing to round two. Right, let's get on with our second matchup, shall we? Right, you then, in the red corner, we got the little ratty thing. It's Soralosaurus. 
Yet another bronze wind dinosaur in this tournament. Although Ceratosaurus is a bit more globally than um, a Frovenator and Rugops. Right, in the blue corner, we got the man, the myth, the legend. It's Joboria. Joboria kind of sucked in the uh, Jurassic Tussle tournament, looking to make up for it in this tournament. And well, being a water dinosaur, he's got a good chance, because there's no lightning dinosaurs to worry about. <laughs> the thing with the lightning dinosaurs is that when I do any of the other continental tournaments, there won't be any, well, except for Asia, which has a Dinoceratops. But when I do the North America tournament, it's going to be full of them. It's going to be just full of lightning dinosaurs. It's going to be like every lightning dinosaur in the whole game. You're going to have Stratosaurus, Pentaceratops, Triceratops, the Orange Triceratops, Chomp, Maximus, Frickin' Chasmosaurus, Pachyrhinosaurus, Anchiceratops. It's going to be ridiculous. It is basically going to be another lightning assault tournament, lightning clash tournament. Is it time? Ooh, Joboria getting the next hit. <laughs> My throat's starting to get dry because I've been recording for, well, I don't know how long, but probably about an hour and a half. It doesn't take a lot. Oh, I have to hit the microphone. It doesn't take a lot for my voice to go. Is it a tie? Yeah, that will do it. Ceratosaurus getting off to a winning start. Taking the lead. Well, let's not count Joe Barrier out yet. There's plenty of time to turn it around. Right, round two. Can Ceratosaurus. Get that 2 0 win, or will Joe Boria come back into this? Oh, I said that weird, didn't I? <laughs> Alright, Joe Boria, you got this. You come back into this. I have faith in you. He's gonna die in it. Yeah. <laughs> not the bet, not the good, not the start that Joe Boria would want. A biting wind, a crit off the bat, with an onion gear and dive to come. Well, if Joboria can get off one of his crests, then maybe. Oh, oh, there's a tie. Oh, he's, yeah, he's dead. <laughs> this Ceratosaurus is heroic type as well, so yeah, he's definitely dead. Oh, it's not! Oh, oh, oh it is. <laughs> the Onion Gira dive, I forgot. And no, this Ceratosaurus isn't. Heroic type, I think it is crisis type. Well, it was in no crisis there, it won convincingly. And it's Tata to Joe Boria yet again. Wow, Joe Boria gets no luck in my tournaments. Anyway, on to our final match of this session, which will also conclude round one. Okay, then, in the red corner. We got the Decreosaurus. Decreosaurus got to the semi-final of the uh, of the Jurassic Tussle tournament. Did really well, and in its journey on its journey to the semi-final, it had to face his opponent, and he's going to face him again in this tournament. That is the Kentrosaurus. Kentrosaurus also had a notable win in that tournament. And well, let's who can who can uh, who can who can forget the Kentrosaurus winning the Battle Royale in Jurassic World Evolution all those years ago. <laughs> what it basic well, it won by default because the T Rex died. The best way to win a Battle Royale. And I think in both of its famous in victories, it killed the Crowlophosaurus. It apparently likes killing cryos. All right, we'll start with a tie. And speaking of uh, Jurassic World Evolution, I might be doing a Battle Royale soon. For all time's sake. Well, is the Craosaurus getting off to a strong start again? It defeated Kendrosaurus in the Jurassic Tussle Tournament. And he'll be looking to defeat him again. Oh, another tie. Ooh, Kendrosaurus land in the next blow. Boosh! 
and it's an earthquake. Oh, look at that, crushing the Creosaurus's chest. Another tie. The Creosaurus does still have the slight lead, but now I think is irrelevant because a hit from either of these two will end this match. And it's the Creosaurus who gets the hit and will finish off the Kentrosaurus to take a 1-0 lead. Good win for the Creosaurus there, but it's not over yet for Kentrosaurus. He can still turn this around as we move on to round two. Right, round two between these two. Can the Creosaurus make it two out of two against Kentrosaurus? So will Kentrosaurus get its revenge on the Creosaurus? <laughs> Said that elegantly, didn't I? Ooh, Kentrosaurus starting off strong with a crit. Oh, wow, really strong. Okay, yeah, that's probably because he's heroic type. So this is actually a good matchup for this Kentra. In theory. It means his crit will be strong. And both of these dinosaurs are very bound stats. This Decreosaurus is attack type, so it does do pack, does pack a little bit more punch. But so far, it's Kentrosaurus landing the blows. Ooh, but the Creosaurus gets a crit of his own. And that crit does damage too. And we are practically level packing. Oh, no, oh, there goes Kentrosaurus. <laughs> There's just no love for Kentrosaurus anymore. And the Creosaurus beats it again. Okay, I think that's pretty unanimous. The Creosaurus is just a better dinosaur. <laughs> Right, that is it, ladies and gentlemen. That is round one, down, done and dusted. So let's have a look at who, the matchups for round two. Wow, this is going to be a really interesting round because especially down in this bottom bracket, no real standout dinosaurs. You know, in this one, you've got Eocarcaria, you've got Spiny, you've got Delta Dromius, and then down here, you've got Alpha Kentro, Spino, and Afrovenator. Practically all the heavyweights are up up in these two. So yeah, the, one of these guys has a pretty good chance. Well, one of them's going to get to the final. But all three of them have a really good chance of getting to that final. So yeah, going to be a really interesting round two. And for the... I'll explain real quick how it's going to work. So each of these guys will play each other once. You will get points for winning. Three points for a win. One point for a draw. And nothing for a loss. And whoever has the most points after they all play each other goes through. And the other two will go home. So yeah, that is going to be it for this... For, well, not, not yet for this tournament. We need a winner. But yeah, that is going to be it for this video. So I hope you enjoyed. And make sure, sure you don't miss out on round two in the coming week. And until then, this is Stranger Gamer signing out. Mm -hmm.